Hey guys, Taylor here with another video. Now if you're interested in having a top of the line computer, it can be really important to have a great monitor to go with it. A great monitor will really showcase all that that high-end hardware has to offer. The problem is there are a ton of different types and brands of monitors out there, and it can be difficult to know which one is right for you in your particular situation. Now today we're going to be breaking down a list of some of the best computer monitors out there and going through some of the benefits and features of each to see which might be right for you in your particular situation. Now as always, I will leave links to each of these products in the description below, so feel free to check them out there if you're interested. Also, if I do happen to find any discounts, deals, or coupon codes, I'll drop those down below for you as well. So first up, we have the best office monitor, and that's going to be the Asus ProArt Display PA278CV. Now this is a large 27-inch screen monitor with a 1440p resolution. That means it's going to give you tons of space to work off of, and it will have really sharp and crisp text. It also has an ISP panel with wide viewing angles. This one is a great option for those of you who are interested in things like content creation, as long as you work in the sRGB color space. This monitor might not be the best for professional photo editors, but it certainly can get the job done, but just note that it doesn't support HDR at all. It does have great response time at 75Hz, that means it's good for some casual gaming, and this one even does have VRR support, which is really great at reducing things like screen tearing. There's no flicker on the backlight as well, which is great. This one also does have a number of ports available, which means that you'll get four USB 3.0s as well as a USB-C input. All in all, this is a fantastic monitor for the office, and it's definitely worth considering if you do have an office space that requires a monitor upgrade. Next up, we have the best ultra-wide office monitor, and that's going to be the Dell U3818DW. Now, this monitor is big and beautiful. It does have a 38-inch screen with a 21 to 9 aspect ratio and 3840 by 1600 resolution. This equates to about the same pixel density as a 27-inch 1440p monitor, so the text is fairly sharp and legible. This one is a really great option for the office and does have some features that you will really appreciate. Things like a USB-C input, which means you can charge your laptop or devices. It also has a KVM feature that lets you control two devices with one set of peripherals. And this does have a great picture-in-picture -picture mode so you can display images from two sources at once. It doesn't have the best response time of some of the other monitors we've tested, so sometimes fast motion can look a bit blurry, and it is limited to 60Hz refresh rate. But overall, this is a fantastic monitor, and again, if you are looking for something that's really big and really gives you a ton of workspace, then you will definitely enjoy the Dell U3818DW. Next up, we have the best gaming monitor, and that's going to be the Samsung LC32G75TQSNXZA. Now, this is an excellent gaming monitor with fantastic performance. Now, for those of you gamers out there, you'll appreciate things like the fact that it has excellent response time and also a crisp and beautiful 1440p resolution. It does have a 240Hz refresh rate with native FreeSync support and G-Sync compatibility. That means that fast-moving games will look smooth. The response times here are excellent as I mentioned, meaning that you'll be able to compete with the best of them in Twitch shooters like Call of Duty. This one is also great for HDR gaming, it does support a wide color gamut, and it does get bright enough to make everything really pop. Just note this one doesn't have local dimming features, and it does have slightly narrow viewing angles, so again this one is better for a dark room where you are sitting head on in front of the monitor. Overall this is definitely one of the best gaming monitors we've tested, and we highly recommend this option from Samsung. Next up we have our best large monitor, and that's going to be the LG OLED 48CXPUB. Now if you really want a great large screen display, this is a great option for you. It does have a 48 inch screen, which is fantastic for multitasking. It does still maintain a standard aspect ratio of 16 to 9. This one also does have the ability to individually turn off pixels, which means it's going to have perfect blacks, and it's a great option also for darkroom gaming. It also has wide viewing angles, which means co-op gaming is also a great option here as well. This one doesn't have DisplayPort input, but it does have HDMI 2.1 support, which means you can play 4K at 120Hz. This one also does have a near instant response time and very low input lag for gaming. Just note with this one, it does have the potential for permanent burn-in, which means you're not going to want to leave it on a static screen for very long to avoid this issue occurring. Anyway guys, if you are interested in a new monitor, hopefully this video was helpful for you in making the right choice. If so, please feel free to give me a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Just a reminder, I will leave links to each of these products in the description below, so feel free to check them out there if you're interested. Also, if I happen to find any discounts, deals, or coupon codes, I'll drop those down below for you as well. 
Otherwise, thanks so much for watching today. Stay safe out there, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.